All right, so number nine, a dump truck driver must haul 112 cubic yards of dirt to a construction site. The maximum load of the dump truck is 14 cubic yards, which inequality represents the solution set that shows the number of loads in that the dump truck driver will haul. What are you having to do to solve for it? Divide. Divide. You have a total, and you're breaking it up the total. So that's division. So when you divide 112 divided by 14, what do you get? Eight. Eight. So you can automatically get rid of what two answers? C and D. Then you're left with, can you have less than eight loads to get all the stuff? Can you have more than eight loads? Yes. So which sign is the greater than sign? Thank you. No, it's actually A. It's A because if you look at it, let's just say 9 is greater than 8, right? Remember my rule about the two dots go to the bigger number, one dot goes to the smaller number? Mm -hmm. Two dots, one dot. So which one is it going to be? A. A. All right, number 10. So we're trying to figure out, we've got, these are all student test scores from a science test. Okay, all of these right here. We're trying to figure out which of these statements are true. The first two, A and B, we're trying to find the, or we have a, the finding the mean or finding the mean. How do I find the mean of something? You add it all up and then you divide it by the number in the data set. So how many numbers are in the data set? There should be 15 numbers in the data set. All right, so go ahead and add up all those numbers in the data set. All right, add them all up. Add them all up. Oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Vinny, you send it in a minute. Careful when you add it all up when they don't miss a number or don't add an extra number. You should get 11.50 is what you should get. Anybody else get 11.50? Okay. Divided by 15 because there's 15 numbers in the number in the data set. What do you get? All right. So is which mean is it going to be? Is it going to be 75 or 76 and 6700? A or C? C. All right. The rest of them we're looking for the median. What is the median? The middle. the middle, thank you. Median means middle. Median, middle, median, middle. Okay? So we're going to find the middle number. Thankfully, these numbers are already put in order, aren't they? If they weren't put in order, we would have to put them in order first. But because they're in order, we can go ahead and start eliminating. My middle, nu middle number is what? 75. So the answer is B. All right, number 11. I want you to find the answers. I want you to do number 11. I want you to test it. Substitute the numbers for the variables and see which ones are true and which ones are false. Thank <laughs> you. 
three. There's actually three. There's three choices. There's three correct answers. Is A going to be true? Yes, All right. So I'm going to use this first row right here to use my numbers to plug in. X is going to equal what? Based on the chart, X is what? One. one. And Y is 20. So if I plug that in, X is 1 and Y is 20. Does 20 times 20 equal 1? No. So is that true? No. No. All right, so I come to B, and I'm going to plug my, I'm going to substitute. Y is 20. X is 1. Is 20 times 1, 20? Yes. yes. Is that true? Yes. So I'm going to do the same thing with C. Plug in your numbers. Is that a true statement? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, 10. If Reese earned $180, then he sold nine birdhouses. Is that true or false? True. Okay, what are we going up by here? 20. 1 times 20 is 20. 2 times 20 is? 3 times 20 is? 4 times 20 is? 5 times 20 is? 100. If I sell nine birdhouses, do I get $80? 180. Is 9 times 20 180? Yes. E says the number of birdhouses X is, de is the dependent variable and the amount Reese earns is the independent variable. No, it's not. The money will always be your dependent variable. Because it's going to depend, you're going to, your money, how much you make depends on how much you sell. Right? Okay. <clears throat> All right. That was number, what, 11? All right, so number 12. All right, we're just going to stop there for today then because I'm missing it.